What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Me Moth by Amber McBride. I picked this book because the cover is just so beautiful. It is so stunning and it was only three hours and I just really wanted to get another book before I started the audiobook that I'm currently reading. Um, and since it's only three hours that means that this book is under 200 pages. So for those reasons alone I think you should give it a shot because it's not a huge commitment but oh my god this book especially considering it is Amber McBride's debut, was so stunning, so mind-blowingly beautiful. Like, I am recommending this book to literally every single person that I see. This is a story about a girl named Moth, and she is reeling with the fact that her whole entire family died and she is the girl who survived. Um, people are not taking that very lightly, like they are ignoring her, and she feels like she shouldn't have lived, like her family should have lived and not her and she meets this boy and they go on a cross-country road trip um, back to his family because he's dealing kind of with the same stuff and through that they fall in love they find meaning in life with each other and then you get to the end and it just I was crying in the car on my way to work and like the first thing I did was like march into my co-workers room and I'm like I have a book recommendation for you <laughs> this was just so beautiful it's it's written like poetry and honestly I would recommend the audiobook because the narrator herself reads it and she has this really nice author's note at the end and the whole way through the book they're writing this summer song and when you get to those parts like even though um, she's just speaking the words there's this music behind it and it's so haunting and it's so beautiful so honestly I think no matter how you decide to experience this book the audiobook really does take it to another level. I will definitely be reading more books by Amber McBride in the future. I definitely want to keep an eye out on her. I think I could read this book again and again and again and it would just constantly hit me with just how good it is and get me right in the feels because ooh, the tropes, the tropes are so, so good. Like mm, Raylo, this is definitely going in the Raylo category because just wow. And when you read it, if you're a Raylo, like you'll know, you will know what I am talking about. So I highly recommend reading Me Moth by Amber McBride. I'm giving this book an A plus. This is definitely going in the contenders list for like one of the best books that I'm going to read this year. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.